In today's episode, we're going to focus on another scenario for performance troubleshooting dealing with high CPU on something called an anti-pattern query. Now, if you remember, in the other episode, in the introduction, in the last episode, we talked about this running versus waiting concept. So today, in this episode again, we're going to focus on the running scenario of high CPU, and we're going to look at queries that affect and show why we're having high CPU problem. Now, I use the term anti-pattern query, and that's going to be the focus of today's scenario. But you're trying to ask yourself, what is an anti-pattern query, Bob? Well, this is my definition. It's a query that's designed in such a way that you don't get the performance you expect. But it's based on how the query is actually written and how the different results come back from the query. Let me show you an example. Let's say I have a table called customers. You saw that in our last episode. And I build an index on customer ID. Notice in this particular case that the customer ID is a type of NVAR card. 